Hi, my name is Ekaterina Hampton and I'm a senior at Shippensburg University studying biology with a concentration in ecology and environmental conservation with a GIS certification. With my project, I focused on the carbon sequestration of University of Delaware's central campus utilizing GIS. And to start, I wanted to see what average people off the street had to say about carbon dioxide. I'm here in downtown Newark to see what people have to say about carbon. Let's go. I'm here in downtown Newark asking people the question, when I say carbon dioxide or carbon in general, what do you think of? Uh, things, think, the stuff people breathe out. All right. When I say carbon dioxide, what do you guys think of? Um, I don't know, probably like plants and uh, how they emit the carbon dioxide, like photosynthesis stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think about the ozone layer. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, probably combustion. Yeah, and fire, I don't know. Fire? Yeah, yeah. yeah fire. Yeah. All right. All right, when I say carbon dioxide, what do you think of? Like global warming and all that stuff they keep talking about on the news and stuff like that. Yeah, all right. When I say carbon dioxide, what do you think of? Respiration. Yeah. You know, pretty much, you know, everything that's going on with the deforestation and everything, dropping the oxygen and everything, and kind of that cycle yeah. of life kind of coming, I, I hope not to an end in this generation, but yeah. maybe in su subsequent generations. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Great. Based on the responses that I got from on the street, it seems like a lot of people have a lot of concerns with carbon dioxide. A lot of people think, well, it's warming up our atmosphere, or it's the thing that we breathe out. I didn't hear many responses about carbon being taken out of the atmosphere, and I'm here to change that narrative. Gases in the atmosphere, like CO2, absorb heat energy from the sun and radiate it back to Earth's surface. Carbon-based fossil fuels take carbon that is stored in oil, coal, or gas, and it releases it back into the atmosphere. This causes our planet to warm up. Oceans, forests, and other vegetation only remove about 60% of carbon that humans emit. Our future climate depends on reducing carbon emissions as well as increasing carbon sequestration of CO2. Carbon sequestration is the process of capturing, securing, and storing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Oceans absorb about 25% of CO2 from human activities. But trees are a great type of carbon sequestration. When they perform photosynthesis, they utilize the CO2 in the air to make sugars and release it as oxygen. Wood is mostly made of carbon, with it being about 50% of the tree, and stores it for years until it dies. So, my goal for this project was to answer the question, how much carbon is the UD campus sequestering? I measured three types of areas on campus, turf grass, herbaceous areas like gardens, and trees. I started my work in ArcGIS Pro where I took a satellite version of the campus and I outlined the buildings, sidewalk, parking, and created a map of those and then I went back in and added the grass and landscaping. Landscaping was determined to be anything that was herbaceous, vegetation that wasn't just grass. And then I was able to create a complete map of Central Campus. After creating my map, I walked around campus to verify my results and to make sure I didn't miss any landscaping on paper. In total, there was 266,518 square meters, or 65.6 .6 acres, of land on University Central Campus. There is 31% grass and 11% landscaping that is divided amongst this space. Based on my research, I was able to determine that the campus grasses were able to sequester 19,051 kilograms per square meter per year. Landscaping is able to sequester 21,897 kilograms of carbon per square meter. Even though there is less landscaping on campus, it's able to sequester more carbon, so maybe that is the hope for a greener campus.